this is the problem on uh, finding moment of the force so here uh, the question is to find uh, moment of forces about the points a and b okay we have to find moments of these forces about points a and b okay so solution so we will find uh, moment about a first okay moment about a let me write the solution here only below only moment about a okay moment about a so before going to uh, find the moment uh, just see uh, whether there are any inclined forces given in the problem if there are any inclined forces given initially you need to write components for that inclined force and then you can find the moment so here you can see one force that is 6 kilonewton force which is inclined at an angle of uh, 30 degree with the x axis so write the components for that 6 kilonewton force if i write uh, horizontal component it will be 6 cos 30 and what will be the vertical component it will be 6 sin 30 ok so using these components we have to find the moment ok now we will find moment about A so first I will take this 6 kilonewton force ok means uh, you take uh, uh, the components of the forces first I will take 6 cos 30 force 6 cos 30 so what is moment moment is the product of force and the perpendicular distance now I am finding moment of 6 cos 30 force about point A ok therefore m is equal to f into d f is 6 cos 30 into perpendicular distance is how much 3 meter 3 meter is the perpendicular distance and coming to the sign it is anti clockwise moment ok remember while finding this perpendicular distance ok see if the force is horizontal if the force is horizontal remember the perpendicular distance will be vertical perpendicular distance of the point will be vertical if the force is vertical perpendicular distance will be horizontal okay let us see uh, in other uh, while finding uh, uh, the moment of other forces okay therefore moment of this 6 cos 30 force about point a is 6 cos 30 into 3 meter ok and about point A this force ok assume that the this whole member whole member is hinged at point A ok hinged at point A means about point A the member is free to rotate if I apply a leftward force at this corner at this corner the member will rotate in anti clockwise direction sign is minus ok then you take 6 sin 30 force 6 sin 30 force into perpendicular distance of the point from the line of action from the line of action of the force so here we can see so this is the line of action of the force this is the line of action of the force point lies in the line of action of force there is no perpendicular distance of point A from the line of action of 6 cos so sorry 6 sin 30 force so distance is 0 ok you can take either positive sign or negative sign it will be 0 only answer will be 0 only ok so to this moment of this 6 kilonewton force is over you may get question that uh, why not uh, this uh, direct force 6 kilonewton force is not, not taken into consideration to find the moment about A so there is complicacy in finding the moment if you directly take this inclined force ok 
you will get complication in uh, finding the perpendicular distance okay perpendicular distance of the point a from the line of action see, see this is the line of action if you directly take that 6 kilonewton force so this will be the perpendicular distance so finding this perpendicular distance will be very difficult right therefore instead of uh, uh, directly taking the, that inclined forces what we will do we will take the components of that forces that that force and using those components we will find the moment okay i hope you understood the why to take components for inclined forces to find the moment okay now we will find moment of this 8 kilonewton force about point a okay 8 kilonewton force about point a so 8 is the magnitude of the force and perpendicular distance is perpendicular distance is see the nature of force is vertical we can see that the 8 kilonewton force is vertical and distance will be horizontal okay perpendicular distance will be horizontal remember if the force is horizontal perpendicular distance will be vertical like that you remember so 8 into perpendicular distance of we need perpendicular distance of point a from the line of action of 8 kilonewton force which is the line of action so this is the line of action of 8 kilonewton force from this line of action distance of point a is how much 4 meter okay distance is 4 meter into 4 and about point a this 8 kilonewton force 8 kilonewton force is tending to rotate the body in anti-clockwise direction it is tending to rotate the body in anti-clockwise direction sin is minus okay means assume that this body is hinged at point a it is free to rotate rotate about point a if i apply a upward force at this corner how the body will rotate obviously the body will rotate in anti-clockwise direction about the point a so sign is minus then we will find moment of this 4 kilonewton force about point a so magnitude of the force is 4 kilonewton into what is the perpendicular distance see the force is horizontal then what should be the distance distance should be the vertical means so this is the line of action of 4 kilonewton force here we have the point a so distance of point a from this line of action is how much it is 3 meter okay distance of point a from the line of action of 4 kilonewton force is 3 meter into 3 okay so about point a this 4 kilonewton is tending to rotate the body in clockwise direction sin is plus sin is plus okay now we will find moment of this 2 kilonewton force which is applied at point B about point A. So 2 into so 2 kilonewton force it is a vertical force distance should be horizontal distance of point A should be horizontal. So this is the line of action of 2 kilonewton force this is the line of action so here we have the point A so horizontal distance of point A from vertical 2 kilonewton force is how much it is 4 meter is 4 meter into 4 meter about point A 2 kilonewton force if I apply downward vertical force at point B uh, the member will rotate in clockwise direction about point A sin is plus so to this we have determined moment of all the forces and there is one uh, there is a last force 5 kilonewton force uh, 5 into what is the perpendicular distance a point A from the line of action it is 0 point A lies in the line of action of 5 kilonewton force into 0 therefore there is no distance you put plus or minus it will be 0 only so calculate the answer let me calculate the answer it is minus 6 cos 30 into 3 into 3 mm. plus 6 sin 13 into 0 it becomes 0 minus 8 into 4 minus 32 and plus 4 into 3 plus 12 
plus 12 then plus 2 into 4 8 plus 8 plus 0 correct so answer is minus 27.58 kilonewton minus 27.58 kilonewton meter so the unit of moment is uh, kilonewton meter means what is moment moment is force into distance no unit of force is kilonewton okay and uh, unit of uh, distance is meter therefore kilonewton meter if the force is given in newton if the distance is given in millimeter unit will be newton millimeter okay so this is how we need to write the units for the moment so to this we have determined moment about a similarly we will find moment about point b same way we will find moment about point b initially i will take six uh, the moment of six kilometer force only first i will take horizontal component six cos 30 force six cos 30 force into 6 cross 30 force it is horizontal therefore perpendicular distance of point b will be vertical okay will be vertical in nature the this is the line of action of 6 cross 30 force so here we have the point b so vertical distance of point b from the horizontal line of action of 6 cross 30 is how much it is 3 meter into 3 meter and about point B, if you apply a left rod force at this corner, uh, in the top left corner, the force will tend to rotate the body in anti clockwise direction. Sign is negative. Now you take this 6 sin 30 force, 6 sin 30 force into 6 sin 30 force is vertical. It is a vertical force, so distance should be horizontal. So this is the line of action of 6, 6 sin 30. So horizontal distance of point B. Horizontal distance of point B from vertical line of action of 6 sin 30 is how much? It is 4 meter into 4 meter. And about point B, this 6 sin 30 force is tending to rotate the body in uh, clockwise direction. About point B. If you take, if you assume that, the body is uh, hinged at point B means it is free to rotate about the point B. If I apply a upward force at this point, at this point of 6 sin 30 uh, Newton uh, kilonewton force, the body will rotate in clockwise direction. Sin is plus. Then you find moment of 8 kilonewton force about point E, point B. 8 into 8 into what about the perpendicular distance it is 0 ok so this is the line of action of 8 kilonewton force point B lies in the line of action therefore there is no perpendicular distance of point B from the line of action of 8 kilonewton force ok so into 0 if plus or minus it will be 0 only now you take this 4 kilonewton force 4 into perpendicular distance see 4 kilonewton is horizontal in nature so distance should be vertical distance of point b should be vertical so vertical distance of point b from horizontal line of action of 4 kilonewton is 3 meter into 3 meter about point b 4 kilonewton force is uh, trying to rotate the body in clockwise direction sin is plus sin is plus then moment of this 2 kilonewton force about point b moment of 2 kilonewton force about point b is how much it is zero point b lies in the line of action of 2 kilonewton force there is no distance it is zero put plus or minus it will be zero only finally moment of 5 kilonewton force about point b how much it is also 0. So this is the line of action of 5 kilonewton force. This is the line of action of 5 kilonewton force. Point B lies in the line of action. So there is no distance. It is 0. 
So calculate the final answer. Moment about B is equal to. Let me calculate the answer. Minus six cos thirteen to six cos thirty into b plus six sine thirty into four into four plus eight into zero it is zero plus four into three twelve plus twelve then plus two into zero plus five into zero final answer is eight point four double one eight point four double one kilo newton meter so this is moment about b so here we got a negative sign for moment about a which represents that it is a anti clockwise moment anti clockwise moment so we got positive sign for moment b it is clockwise moment clockwise moment okay so to this we have determined moment about point a and point b okay this completes the problem thank you